Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here. And today we're going to be doing an impossible run through. Now, if you guys haven't been on the channel for very long, you might not know that the impossible challenge is a no starter ship challenge on extreme, like beyond permadeath and no HUD. So we're going to go to custom and we're going to change it to permadeath. Which is the most extreme difficulty in the game. If you die, your your save is deleted. But there are some things that are still not at the maximum. Like, hey, scanner recharge, we're going to bump that up to challenging. So there's some of these settings that they're still kind of not there. Expensive for purchases. We're going to go all the way. Inventory stack limits are harsh. We're going to enemy strength, challenging. We're going to do uh, tutorial missions, disabled. Uh, reputation and standing, <clears throat> excuse me, challenging. So yeah, all of this stuff, and then we're going to lock it. That way I cannot change it. All of this stuff is going to be locked in. I cannot change any of these settings once it's done. That's why we're locking it. So guys, this is going to be a really, really hard challenge. Now, you cannot change your HUD settings until you get into the game. But I will tell you, as soon as we load up, I'm going to go into my menu. I'm going to turn off the HUD so I cannot even see where anything is. And the whole objective of this challenge is to find a new ship, not your starter ship, not the one they give you. You have to find a brand new one. Either you have to save up enough money to buy one and get off the planet. And that means you also have to find a trading outpost to get one. Or if you find a crashed one out in the world, you can get that one as well. You just cannot use the one that they give you. So we're here. Now we're gonna press start. We're gonna go to our options and I think it's under video options. No, 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 it's under general. You go to HUD, disabled. So now I can't see where anything is. Even if I wanted to, I could pull up my visor. I couldn't do that. Oh, my visor is broken right now. But yeah, so this makes it a lot more difficult because you can't see your health. You can't see your, uh, your shields. You can't see anything in the game. You can't even tell if you're picking things up. Like, I can't tell what this is. Like, I assume I'm getting something out of here. But, uh, let's see. <laughs> let's see. There we go. This That's breaking. That's giving me probably more than likely. Oh, yeah, I got some platinum. I got some uh, cobalt out of there. Okay, I got some carbon as well. All right, yeah, the only way you can tell is if you actually go into your backpack and check it. Because I can't, I can't see anything. And thankfully, we got a, uh, we literally got a cave to start with. That helps out a ton because I need to make a whole bunch of batteries and I'm going to need a lot of cobalt to do that. Now, traditionally, when you're trying to save money to buy a ship, you would get a whole bunch of cobalt and convert it and sell it. They lowered the price of cobalt. So cobalt is really not worth, you know, farming to sell. I would say, you know, it's still worth getting. Like, I'm still getting it now because... It's worth it to get four batteries. You need to make your batteries with that. So, of course, you should get a whole bunch of cobalt. I'm going to get a whole bunch of uh, carbon as well. Now, we need some... Uh, what's it called? We need some ferrite dust to fix all of our stuff. Let's grab these. The Albion Pearls. Because, I mean, they don't, they don't sell for very much, but hey... It's better than nothing. It, later on, if we run out of inventory room, we can just uh, we can just scrap it. We can just break it up and get rid of it. Hey, I can't see. Come on, let me have that one. Really? I guess we can't have that one. I, I can't. I can't grab it. Come on. No. I can't grab it. I can't see my cursor. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, look at our stacks are really, really small as well. And on top of that, you're getting less resources from mining. So normally, you know, on normal mode, you get a ton of it. But on extreme, you're not getting anything out of these things. So we're going to need to get a whole bunch of this. We need a whole bunch of ferrite dust as well. So we're definitely going to need to get a whole bunch of this uh, cobalt to make batteries. So that's what I'm doing now. And my plan is I'm going to be looking for a crashed ship. That is all generally the easiest way to go because a crashed ship is easy enough to just grab and go. 
a uh, when you have to save up the money for uh, buying one, it is insanely hard to do. You can do it, but it is insanely hard to do. Let's grab that. All right. Well, now we, we, we're okay now, so let's get out of here. Let's get some ferrite dust, so rocks. Come on. Man, it feels like everything's breaking really, really. It's taking a long time to break stuff down. The other thing you'll notice is I haven't done, I haven't made my visor yet. And it's because I usually do that to see if I'm going north or south. But the problem is... I have no HUD, so I can't even tell. Even if I had it, I wouldn't be able to tell if I'm going north or south. So that, and you're also, you're looking for sparks. That's how you know you're mining something. If you use the sparks as an indicator. Like this is probably too advanced. And so you see how there's no sparks. That means I can't mine that. I need an advanced mining laser. Probably to get the pure uh, ferrite out of that. Come on. What do we got going on here? Oh, we're almost there. Give me that. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of that stuff. Okay, we have enough to make... I mean, we can make our visor, so let's do that. We'll make uh, that right there. So we need to fix our scanner. 75 ferrite dust. We got that. So now our scanner works. And then we need to install a visor. So if we can't really... like you, you still can't see north and south, but we can scan stuff. So I can kind of see you through my visor. I can see what it is. And that kind of helps me. But really, I mean, you're also, you can't see. Like, look, there's no mineral deposits or anything you can see. Look at that. Nothing. Whole lot of nothing around here. Let's get some more cobalt. I need to do that. I'm also, I'm hiding in the cave because it, it recharges your hazard protection. That gives me a little bit of uh, extra time. And you notice how I'm not moving, I'm not stepping anywhere because every step you take takes a little bit of your life support. So you don't want to do that. You know, as much as you can. I mean, there's going to be times where I have to walk and run and do all that kind of stuff. Oh, uh, it's been so long since I've done an impossible challenge, you guys. It's going to be... I have a feeling this is going to be rough. All right. Well, let's head off. Let's head off over here. I'm gonna grab this food. If you can use food to recharge your health or your shields or your um, your hazard protection. So of course you wanna grab that when you can. And the other thing is when you don't have a tutorial, you can actually make uh, your, uh, what is it called? Your terrain manipulator. You don't have to wait for that later on. You can make that now if you want to. We're going to head off this direction. Get some more ferrite dust. We're going to need this to make batteries. And to fix anything, like if we get attacked or we get hurt, on the extreme difficulties, you have a higher percentage chance of having your equipment break. So my equipment is going to break more often because I'm on the extreme difficulty. Um... We can get some oxygen out of these plants. We're going to need this for our life support. Here we go. You want to go for the red little bulbs on the outside of it first. Here we go. And then, th then you knock it off or you kill it. That way you get the oxygen from the plant itself too. Get that, that, that. So they, you know, if you don't have the tutorial turned on, they do give you a little bit of an advantage because you don't have to learn how to do everything. You don't have to go through the tutorial at all. The downside is there's no tutorial. So <laughs> if you don't know what you're doing or you've never played the game before, it's not going to help you. You know, you don't know what's going on. They're not going to hold your hand at all. So you can use your visor to kind of zoom in. So I can look for buildings and stuff, but they're not going to be marked for me, which is kind of, kind of terrible. All right. We need to start doing this. Well, let's eat our food real quick. Life support power. Yes. And we need to make some batteries here. Boom. There we go. We got 19 batteries. We're good on that. All right. 
Get our batteries. Let's get this going. And I'm kind of looking around on the, uh, the edges of the screen, looking for a building of some kind. Or, you know, if there's a crashed ship, that'd be amazing. I'm not seeing anything. This gives me a lot of life support. We remember, chili peppers give you life support, so let's grab that. The one, the other thing I hate is that you cannot quick use them. So I have chili peppers, right? But if I go over to my life support, it does not give you the option to eat those. It just gives you, hey, look, you have oxygen, you don't have any life support, and you don't have any dioxide. And it's like, well, I have chili peppers. Why not let me eat the chili peppers? I wish they would automatically update and say, oh, yeah, you're allowed to eat that or no. You don't need that, you know, what for whatever food item you have in your inventory. Grab this. The other thing we need to do is we need a whole bunch of dihydrogen uh, crystals, the blue crystals on the ground, because we can use those to make our terrain manipulator. Now, it's going to be difficult because... Uh, I can't see any buried technology, but we might be able to accidentally find some if we find some uh, damaged machinery. Here we go. Like that over here. So there's uh, usually there is going to be uh, buried technology around these damaged machines. Now, you don't know where it is. No idea where it is because I can't see it, but... It's going to be around here somewhere. What did I get out of there? I got... I got nanites. See, I got 33 nanites now. There we go. Craft more of these. There we go. Okay. So. Do I have enough? I do have enough. I have to make two. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Before, I, before I make it, because I don't want to waste any materials, one jelly, two... Nanite, uh, nanotube. So good. I almost made two jellies. So we need another nanotube. So we're going to need to get some more. What's it called? We're going to need some more carbon. There we go. I mean, those are dihydrogen crystals, but I have a weird obsession. I have to collect all the resources. Look at this. What is this ground? Okay. And I mean, the smart thing to do would be to scan this before you uh, kill it, because it might give you a secondary item. So not everything, but a lot of item, a lot of minerals and plants, a lot of rocks and plants, they will give you two materials. So it will give you your main and your secondary. And because I can't see them, I don't know what the secondary is, but I know that if I scan some stuff, I might get some secondary stuff. All right, boom. Let's make our... There it is. So now we have a terrain manipulator. So that'll help us later on when we have to dig holes around stuff. Or if we run into any materials out there. You know, if we want to get some copper or whatever. You don't want to fall. Now, like, originally, way back in the day, if you fell too far on extreme or on permadeath, you would just die. It would be the end of your game. Now, they, they lowered the fall damage, so you won't die, but instead it will break something you have. So if I take if I go up in the air too high and I fall down and take damage, it could break my jetpack, or it could break my, uh, my life support. It could break something, so that's why you don't want to do that now. It won't kill you, but it'll make your life a living hell, because now you don't have your life support or whatever. Oh, we're running out of, uh, running out of fuel. Better get that going. Um, we need to get some more. Oh, there we go. We can get these red crystals right here. This is condensed carbon. Why not? There we go. All right. Condensed carbon is way more efficient at refueling than regular carbon. So you want to use condensed carbon whenever you possibly can. Oh, let's keep going. Oh, oh, I, I got scared a little second there. I was like, oh, no, I'm about to, get to take fall damage. Up oh, a building! Nice. There's a building over here. So let's get inside. At least, you know, minimum you get shelter for that. You know, and if it's a good building, like if it's a, um, an outpost, 
or, or trading outposts, then yes, you're good. You can buy stuff there and sell stuff there. This does not look like an outpost, though. This looks like it's going to be just a regular uh, shelter. Just regular shelter, which is fine. It'll still block me from, uh, you know, losing my hazard protection, which is good. I got nanites for that, it looks like. All right, we have some chili peppers. Let's eat those. All right, we're good on that. And I'm trying to eat the food first because it's uh, it's a rare commodity to come across food that helps you. So might as well use that up. And we get anything? We got nanites again. We're up to 71. And so now there's going to be a uh, buried technology around here somewhere. So what I can do is just blast around and look for it. <laughs> I don't even think it'll... Yeah, it doesn't even come up on the uh, your, on your visor. So I don't even know where it's going to be. Most of the time, it's between the buildings. But not always. <laughs> and... Oh, yeah. Okay, this is, like, impossible. There's no way to find it. I don't know how deep it is. It could be really deep. It could be shallow. You'll never know. Yeah, a whole lot of nothing. A whole lot of nothing. That's okay. Let me get some more. That gives you nanites. Let me look around in here. I can organize my stuff a little bit. We got some platinum. We can sell that. This needs to go right here. Actually, this goes over here. I like to put my, uh, my colored materials together. So the blues with the blues, the red with the red. I know, it's weird. I know. And sodium. There we go. So we'll do carbon and condensed carbon and then all the extra crap up here on the top. And, and you see, look at that. I'm getting 31000 for a stack. Now, if you want more money, you definitely want to get buried technology. That'll give you more money for each stack. Problem is, it's hard to find that stuff. Oh, you're just lit up? Okay. seeing anything the other the other good thing about nighttime is that you'll see lights and stuff for buildings a lot easier at night versus during the day especially on a hot planet that is like red and orange it is hard to see any lights and stuff during the day anyway but at night everything's dark so it's okay up oh, there's some more condensed carbon over here red crystals now they, by default, you cannot mine the big ones, but you can't get the small ones. I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, hey, look, we know you're going to run out of fuel, so we'll give you the small ones, but you'll notice if I try to get the big one, nothing. No sparks, no anything. Because you can't get the big crystals. That's fine. And same thing goes for the uh, the other crystals in the game. So the, uh, like the big blue dihydrogen crystals, like I can get the small ones right here. These are fine. But I can't get the big blue ones, the big gigantic ones, because they're big. You need a advanced mining laser to do that. Get over here, another blue crit. And, and this is a medium sized one. I should be able to get it. Yep, I can do it. Get that. And the other thing you'll notice is there are ships that fly. Don't think that you're going to follow them. They will, if they're flying in the street line, just like that, that is just randomized. So they're not flying towards anything. They're just flying to make it look like the world is alive and there's characters here. The only time you want to, wait a minute. The only time you really want to pay attention is if they start circling and that guy moved a little bit. Let's check over here. I will, I'm going to get super paranoid. But yeah, if they start circling, like going in a circle around an area, that means they're trying to land. And that's a good sign. That means there's a trading outpost over there. So that is definitely something to look out for. Here we go. Jeez. I have a whole bunch of condensed carbon. I'm liking it. Got a lot of fuel. And I have a whole bunch of... Uh, hydrogen as well we need carbon that's what we need so let's get these plants going so i need to get some carbon if you mix carbon and 
a dihydrogen crystal together, you will get a life support shell. So that's another thing you want to get. So I need to get a whole bunch of it. And I generally try to fully mine something because it'll give you a little bit here and there. But if you fully mine something, if, if like the uh, rock or the plant explodes, it'll give you a ton of resources. So you always want to finish off a resource. Come on. Let's see if I can find the uh, berry technology around here. I don't think I will. <laughs> well, there's more guys over here. What is going on? I think that there is a, uh, a trading outpost. I'm seeing a lot of ships around here. Did I get anything good? I got nanites. We're up to 138. Great. But... Seeing a whole lot of nothing here. Come on. I just want to blow the whole area up. I got nothing. There's no? How far is it away? <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't see anything. Oh, there it is. See? Oh, my God. That would have been so nice if I could see it, but I can't. So I just dug this big hole for this. So I can get that. <laughs> That's all I dug the hole for. All right. Let's get up and over this hill. Okay, I'm getting paranoid now. I think that there's a treating outpost because they were flying or they keep flying over here they keep spawning which is throwing me off let's see do they turn like usually you'll see one once in a while these guys are just continuously appearing oh well they're kind of just they're messing with me oh no they turned they turned did you see that okay so there is gonna be a uh, a trading outpost i think over here all this yeah there's gonna be something over here because they turned Give me that Come on, I'm super excited, you guys. This might be the fastest I've done a no HUD uh, run. Well, I mean, I still have to buy my ship and stuff. And this is on extreme mode, so I'm not going to have a lot of money. Speaking of that, I got 100,000. Oh, God. Yeah, definitely. Definitely hurting on that. All right. We got it. We got it. Get up over here. Come on, we got this. No? Are you joking? I was all excited for nothing. I ran in the wrong or in a direction for no reason. Yeah, I think so, because I don't see anything. Could have sworn. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. I could have sworn I saw somebody. No, no, they didn't turn. It was just all for nothing. I was imagining things. No. Oh, God. That's the worst. That is the worst. When you start imagining things, you're like, oh, I totally know it. Like, no, you don't. Not really. Give me all of these. This amazing carbon. Oh, we should probably scan it so I can get secondary. If it has it. All right. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything around here. 
It's a beautiful sky. I mean, look at that. Nice pink stars. Beautiful sky. And I, I know for a fact you guys are down in the comments telling me that I'm walking in a circle. I don't think I am. But you guys can't prove me wrong either because there's no there's no uh, compass on the map or on the uh, screen. So you can't... You don't know either. <laughs> we'll know when I find that building again. I'll be so pissed. I true... Why? Do they fix that to where now it just spawns a lot? Because, man, I'm getting a lot of freaking ship spawning oh my god he just fell down in the in a hole where'd i come from are you joking i fell through that little tiny hole are you joking this little hole this is like barely human sized and i fell through that what in the world i fell through that hole that's impossible that's not normal. Come on. Why you gotta mess with me like that? <laughs> I fell through the one human-sized hole on this entire planet. Come on. Oh, that's not a cave. I was hoping this was a cave. Come on. I was all excited. I mean... I know that I'm not going to be able to buy a, a ship right now, but I can sell some stuff and get my inventory cleaned up a bit. That's what I wanted. I was like, okay, I could sell some stuff. Clean up my inventory, buy a whole bunch of uh, materials to make uh, batteries and stuff. Oh, yeah. Nope. Looks like we got to... Nope, don't do that. Sentinels are right here waiting for me. Don't want to mess with that. Oh, there we go. Got to make sure to recharge my uh, protections there. Nothing. Nothing. I don't see any buildings. I don't trust you anymore. You guys are just, you know, appearing a lot for no reason. <laughs> uh, I don't think they get mad if you open up the broken, uh, the damaged machinery. You can refine this stuff again. Not useful, you know, not really. Maybe, but not really. Um, hazard protection, 10%. Okay. Oh, we got a shield module out of there. Perfect. I love that. That's lucky. I wish I got heat protection, but a shield helps because it gives you a little bit more health and a little bit more shield. So you, when you take damage, you don't take as much because you have an upgraded shield. I like it. All right. Well... Let's do it. Let's see if I can find the other buried technology in here. It's going to be around here. I just don't know where. There it is. That was a little bit faster than the first time, right? That works. And again, the reason why you want buried technology is... I'm getting 300,000 and I'm not even at a full stack yet. Like I can go up to nine, which will give you closer to 500,000. These stack up to three. I'm only getting 31,000 per stack. So as an inventory item, you don't want to, oh my God, I got a whole bunch of this powder. All right, we're going to do that. And then because we have a whole bunch of this powder stacked up, we're going to get rid of that. There we go. Need to make room. But yeah, so you, that is the most valuable item per slot. So if you're trying to mid-max your inventory, a buried technology is the way to go. You got anything going on around here? No. Nope. I'm always kind of looking at these guys and see if they turn or do anything. If they start circling, then we know. Nope, they're just doing their thing over there. Okay. We need to find a cave. That's not a cave. I mean, technically we fell in a cave, but I didn't like that one because I was a little bit afraid I was going to get stuck down in there. Oh, we can use our item there, our food. There we go. Get some more ferrite dust. 
That is pretty cool. We have uh, a cool freighter or a frigate teleporting in, warping in. So those lights are either uh, plants or they could be damaged machinery. So good idea to keep your, your eyes peeled for that while you're running around. Like, I'm going to say that, but I'm going to also forget that in about 10 minutes anyway. Yeah, see, we're at a high spot. I don't see any buildings down here. And you should be able to see them. Like, they will populate. So, there is a draw distance uh, limit, though. So, you can't see all the way over there. But you can see pretty steady around you. I'm not really seeing anything. And yeah, it is daytime, so now it's going to be harder to see stuff. We need some plants. That's what we need. Scan that. Scan that. We got this, guys. We got this. Don't want that guy coming over here. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me, Sentinel. I don't have any weapons. I can't fight you, so uh, leave me alone. We have to get some life support pretty soon, so get some oxygen going. And this plant. There we go. Oh. Man, we got Sentinels every five minutes. Come on, leave me alone. I'm trying to survive here, Sentinel. Nothing broken. Okay, nothing broken. Good. go this is a cave no not really it's just a pit it looks like a cave all right let's go after this guy over here nope get away from him let him explode okay get back in there i like how the poison dissipates so quickly you only get hit with it if you're next to it when it explodes. No, nothing, nothing. Let's uh, let's recharge. There you go. I didn't want to use it, but I had to. I mean, I do have my hazard protection right here. Boom, perfect. That one, that one, and get the last one. Beautiful. Yeah, kill him. Come on. There you go. My count is off. I usually, I had that memorized. I'm, I'm, I'm losing my touch, everybody. I'm losing my touch. I haven't played No Man's Sky in too long. Come on. Now, the other thing you can do is if you have carbon, like right here, we have carbon. We can make life support gels by making jellies. And then if you mix the life you, jelly, one jelly and 20 carbon will give you a life support gel. And so there you go. And you can make, you can stack those pretty well. So see, look at that beautiful stacking. So it's more efficient to use a life support gel. Now keep in mind, they will refill you 100%. So you don't want to really use a life support gel if you only need like 10% of health. You know, that's not really, it's a waste. So if you have any other food or oxygen or whatever you can spare, then go for that instead of your life support gel. But if you need to, life support gel will fill you from zero to 100%, no problem. Hey, give me, um, nope, give me nanites. We're at 172. Now we're gonna dig around here. See if we can find any materials. Very technology, please. I can't see. There's too much dust in my face. Nothing, nothing. Come on. Nothing, 
Nothing. Are you kidding me? Now, this is a rare thing. I mean, also, I just probably couldn't see it. But usually, you will get a buried technology around here. But every once in a while, you'll run into one that does not have one. And that's upsetting. Yeah, seriously. I'm not seeing any. I'm not seeing any. Dang it. That's all right. We have a camp. We have a, uh, we have a cave over here. Get in the cave. We need to get some uh, more cobalt for our batteries. So let's do that real quick. While we're, you know, sitting here, not moving. That way we don't use our life support for this. So, and I love that. As long as you're not walking, you're good to go. So you can move and arch your uh, arms around all day. We're good. Oh, yeah, we're good. Okay. Just overheated. And I should be paying attention to the color of my mining beam because green is cool. Then it'll turn yellow. Then it'll turn orange. And then it'll turn red. So you don't want it to turn red. You want it to be yellow and orange because that's when it's the hottest before overheating. You know, so as your mining beam gets hotter, it'll actually work faster because it's a hotter beam, but it'll overheat as well. So you don't want to overheat it all the way. Just keep it a little warm. All right. We got a lot of batteries now. Need to get some more jellies going. Get some more of that. There we go. So just to stock up on our batteries to make sure we have enough. Because the other thing with the 4.0 update, the waypoint update, is they took away the ability to buy life support gel and batteries from the store. So you can get materials to make it, but you cannot actually buy the items themselves. So that's kind of a pain in the butt. And when I say materials, I'm talking like dihydrogen jelly. That's what they sell. So you can make your batteries or your life support gel. They don't sell carbon. They, you can buy cobalt. So if you have cobalt and ferrite dust, that'll make your batteries no problem. And they also sell the, uh, what's it called? They will sell the uh, dihydrogen jellies or crystals, and you can get that and make your uh, life support gel. You know, they won't sell you, they don't even sell you oxygen, so you can't use oxygen either. So keep that in mind. You're not getting any oxygen either. Now, you, I, I say that, but if you go to your difficulty settings, you could turn down the difficulty to where they have everything in the store if you want to. But on my extreme, you know, on the impossible difficulty, they don't have any of that. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Oh, we need more ferrite dust. I can deal with that. Let's get rid of this silicate powder and that one. So we have... Oh, yeah, we're good. We're good. So we need that. So we need dihydrogen. We also need cobalt. Or we need ferrite dust to make our stuff. But we're good. We're good. Again, I'm not seeing any very technology around here. Come on. And usually it'll stick out. Like, you can't help but see it. But I'm not seeing it anywhere. And it might be buried down farther, but I just haven't seen it. But I'm not wanna, I don't want to waste all my uh, hazard protection doing that. So we're going to move along. We're going to move along. Come on, anyone? Anyone? No buildings? No trading outposts? Come on. You know you want to have a trading outpost for me. That'd be great. I would really appreciate a uh, trading outpost right now. Excuse me, Mr. Sentinel. Did I scan this? Oh, I did not scan these animals. Okay. And I'm scanning them. I'm getting like $1,000, $2,000. At the end of the day, it doesn't make a big difference, but I will take it versus nothing. Because uh, right now we have zero. Oh, there's another broken uh, machinery. Let's try this one. Maybe this one will have something near it. Come 
Come on. And I am just looking for the buried technology. And I mean, these will give you most of the time they'll give you nanites, but sometimes they'll give you a free upgrade. And so you want to check these. I want to get an S-Class heat protection. That'd be amazing. That would help me out a lot. Nope. Gave me some nanites. That's fine. And that's what you're going to get most of the time. Most of the time it's nanites. Come on, buried tech. No. Man, it is getting difficult. And yeah, making this impossible to do. Oh, there it is. Thank God. All right. That was a little bit lower than usual. Let me recharge that. And also check these containers. They will give you stuff as well. You can also, you can take the rest of metal and refine it into ferrite dust. Again, don't need to. It's a pain in the butt. You don't really need it. You're going to waste more materials refining it than you will get out of it. So I never recommend using those unless you're desperate. Like you absolutely, you're on a planet that has no ferrite dust. Okay, do it. Go ahead. But I mean, there is so many rocks and stuff. You'll get more ferrite dust out of this than you will at rusted metal. So you might as well just come over here and blast it like that. And it's a lot faster. It takes a long time to refine that metal. Let's get to the top of this hill over here. Maybe we can look around and see if we're close to anything good. Maybe some ferrite dust so I can make more batteries. Yeah, it's weird. It feels like there are more random pilots flying around than usual. Usually, you don't, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I don't usually see them that often. You'll see them once in a while. You won't see them that often, like every two minutes. It's crazy. Okay, nope, nope. Not seeing anything around. Live support. There we go. Yep, still no, look at it. I can't see any buildings out here. Got a whole lot of nothing. Yep, a whole lot of nothing. Let's go do that. You don't want to go too high up in the air. Oh, look at this. We actually, we found a beacon. So this beacon will mark the location of a minor settlement. The problem is I won't see which direction that is. And number two, it's usually like 10 hours away by foot. They mark it to where you can fly to it if you had a ship and because they assume you have a ship. <laughs> I don't have a ship. So it's going to mark a location that's like 10 hours away by foot. It will. It'll be crazy. But let's check it out. Let's see. It gives you an aerial view. I don't see any buildings around us, you guys. So that's another sign. You got to get an aerial view of what's around you. All right. So it'll mark the location. It'll point you in the direction of where it is. So we know there is a settlement in this direction. We just don't know how far away it is. Probably 10 hours away. <laughs> Just a guess. But we know it's in this direction. Give me these. We need this for life support. Do we have? There we go. Just to kind of get rid of some of that uh, cobalt. 
You know, we could. Now nah, we'll keep it for now. So we don't we don't need the room yet, but I would get rid of that ionized cobalt. I mean, I can refine it down into regular cobalt and use it for batteries, and that might be what I do instead. But eh, I'm not too worried about it right now. We got plenty of uh, batteries right now, so I'm not too scared. No, no, no. Give me all of these. I hear a sentinel over there. Thank you, sentinel. Yeah, uh, instinctively tried to scan for materials. I can't see anything, though. <laughs> Whatever I'm out and about, just got to scan real quick, but nope. Look at this. No, nothing around. Oh wait, we can scan this little guy right there. Give me a little bit of money. I wonder. Is this improving? It is! We're recharging, I think. Yep, recharging our hazard protection, so I don't have to worry about it. Alright, let's go through some of our inventory. We do not need ammo, so we'll get rid of that. Um, We don't need all the silicate powder, so look at how many stacks we have. Because we're digging all over the place trying to find our buried technology. We don't need that. Um, Boom. We can sell that. I mean, look at that. One, two of these is actually more valuable than three Albion Pearls. Come on. Killing me. There we go. I need one Cobalt. Not too worried about it. All right. All right, nighttime. We can see some freaking buildings, hopefully. If we're close. Come on. Oh. We get some more fuel for our uh, multi-tool by getting all this condensed carbon. Got it, got it. Come on. There it is. Let's go. I don't know why I keep pulling. Well, I do know why. It's a habit. Pull up your visor because... Oh, life support shell. Okay. Because, you know, you can see things normally unless you turn off the HUD. And then you're on your own. Oh, broken machinery. Let's grab this thing. Hopefully be an upgrade, be an upgrade. Heat protection, that would help me out a lot. And we got nanites, I believe. Yep, 232 now. Oh wait, before we start digging around too much, let me grab all the, uh, the condensed carbon I can get out of here. All right, so now we can go crazy. I see anything. Oh, I see it over there. Perfect. Give me that stuff. Beautiful. There we are. As a protection getting kind of low. Let's 
Nothing around there. Come on. No other buildings. Great. Thank you. Get some sodium for later. Just in case we run out of batteries, we can use sodium for that. Always have my backups. Just in case. Did I scan you? I did. Okay. There we go. Give me that. Ooh, and the other thing to, to keep in mind is a night and a day cycle are 15 minutes each. So you get 15 minutes of daylight, 15 minutes of nighttime. So a full day, you know, a day-night cycle in No Man's Sky is about half an hour. So just to keep in mind, okay, like if you're trying to run around at night, you know you only have 15 minutes. If it starts like brand new nighttime, you have 15 minutes. You know, if you land somewhere and it's already been night, you don't know how long it's going to be. Get rid of this. Upgrade. Heat protection. Nope. No heat protection. Okay. That's okay. Here we go around here. I'm not seeing one. Let's go over here. Come on. No, nothing. Oh, there it is. This was a little farther away. Okay. Farther away than I expected. The battery's going. This way. Up here. Here are those sentinels looking for me. Get my condensed carbon. I will take all of this. Beautiful. That's a lot of carbon. I'll take it. I'll take it all. Nothing, nothing. All right. Yep. So we're at 468. So almost 500. And another, we're almost what? Like 700 something thousand, maybe 800,000 with everything together. That's solid. But keep in mind, you're probably going to need around 7 to 10 million in order to buy a ship on the extreme difficulty because prices are increased. So yeah, you're gonna have to keep in mind that's what you gotta save up for. So we're like one tenth of the way there, probably. So oh gonna be a killer trying to get all that money. So the other thing, uh, that's why I'm looking for a crashed ship. If I get a crashed ship, I'm good to go. I can I can fix it right now. But you need to find it. That's the problem. You need to find one, and they're hard to come by. Crashed ships are very rare. They're not like every five feet on a planet. <laughs> I hope. I was hoping. Maybe we would run into one, but it's not looking likely, so... Second option is buying one. Come on. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything out there. I don't see any lights. I don't see any buildings. Whole lot of nothing. Give me all of this. Nothing. That's a 
plant that's not a damaged machinery. Nothing around here. You guys think I'm going in a circle? I might be walking in a circle, you guys. Oh, God. I hope not. I, I might be favoring my left. Let's, let's lean a little right this time. I, 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 have a, I have a weird disposition of going left. I think it's because when I sit down, my main screen, the, the screen I play my game on, is on my left-hand side. And so instinctively, I'm leaning left, almost like when you're riding a, or when you're driving a motorcycle. If you tilt your head a certain way, you might start driving that way. I have a feeling that's what I'm doing. Oh, well, there's damaged machinery down here. Let's go get this. Come on. Oh, he didn't like me hitting him. <laughs> he didn't like me hitting him at all. It wasn't me. Are they coming after me? Oh, please don't be combat music. I don't want it. And oh, we got a thermal protection. Perfect. I think that's combat music. I can't tell because I have no HUD. So we're going to get out of there because uh, I feel like we're in combat. We did get a thermal protection, though. Thank God. So now I don't have to recharge it as often. Thank God. Please leave me alone. Okay, yeah. The drums are going away. That means combat music is going away, thankfully. Oh, there's another one over here. Let's check this one out. Maybe I can get the buried technology near this one without, you know, angering the sentinels. Uh, we have room. All right. Yeah, see, we're going good. At one Pugnium? How? How did I do that? Did I punch the sentinel? Okay. I think I accidentally punched him when I was doing my jetpack boost. I think that's what happened. And it wasn't intentional. I didn't mean it. All right. Let's see what we get out of here. Give me another shield. That'd be good. I'll take that. Oh, um, well, we got nanites. That's fine. You know what? We got a heat protection. That's all. That's good and dandy. I'll take that. Come on. Get in here. Oh, daytime now. I need to go through here. Yep, see, I have so many stacks of this freaking silicate powder. We need to do this though. Fill it up. All right, then we'll get rid of it. There we go. So now we have room. Nothing, nothing. Gonna need some more of this blue stuff. Yeah, let me show you. Let me show you what I was talking about earlier. So we can get the blue ones, the little tiny ones. But the big one, nothing. You see that? No, no explosion, nothing on that. Because you're not allowed to get the big crystals until you've upgraded your multi-tool, your laser. All right, Sentinel, I'm out of here. I'm going. Quit being so bossy, man. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, he's back there. He's just like, good. I saved that one patch of dihydrogen crystals. Meanwhile, I'm like 10 feet away. Mining something else over here. Nothing, nothing. Okay. Yeah, look at that. We are still rocking and rolling with that. I love it. I will take that all day. All right, Sentinel, I'm out. Dang. 
so freaking picky. Got that, got that. The other thing I would love to know, how many, uh, like, crash ships or buildings have I, like, walked by? Like, instinctively, because I'm, like, looking one direction and I was, I just so happened to be walking and I walked in the wrong way and I didn't see it. Like, oh no, come on. No buildings, no buildings. I don't want to go left. I'm purposely trying to go to the right. <laughs> That way, where, where I think I'm actually going too far to the right, but I'm probably going straight. We have enough here. Well, let's do this. There we go. We need to make some more of these jellies. There we go. Beautiful. We're doing pretty. We're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. Sentinel's coming after me. Nope, nope. Come on. Nothing? Got nothing going on here, huh? cave right here beautiful beautiful cave guys what the heck was that about okay sentinel okay guys hopefully you guys liked this episode if you did hit that like button and i will see you in the next one hopefully we have a little bit better luck finding a building or a trading outpost but i will see you guys then